Have you been trying to figure out how to build your business on Pinterest, but you're just like, I have no idea how to make graphics. I feel lost. How do I actually make Pinterest images? Dude, I got you covered. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to use Canva for free to create Pinterest images that convert. I'm Rachel Ngom. I equip and empower purpose-driven female entrepreneurs to increase their influence, income, and impact online using social media. On my channel, I share different business tips and strategies to help you grow your business online, so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any content. All right, I'm gonna screen share and show you how to make those Pinterest images. Let's get to it. Canva.com, Canva, if you're listening, you need to have an affiliate program because I share you everywhere because you're so amazing. Um, but anyway, so we're here, we're gonna create a design and look right here, it has a Pinterest graphic template. So I'm just gonna click on this. Pinterest tip number one is to create your graphics long and skinny, not short and wide. These are gonna take up more space in the newsfeed. All right, so you can pick one of these templates if you want to, or you can create your own. Um, Canva also has this awesome feature where you can add your uh, own text. So you have your own font in here and your own colors. So you can keep everything super duper branded. Isn't that awesome? So which one should we pick? All right, so I like this as a template. I'm gonna customize the ish out of this. So I'm gonna delete this and this, and I'm gonna make this my brand colors. So I'm gonna click on this. This is the colors here. And you can see I have my brand colors. I have two different businesses, so I have two different set of brand colors. And you can pick your brand colors right there. If you don't have your brand colors set up, then you can just pick whatever here, but I highly recommend setting up those brand colors. Okay. I'm gonna change this part to all of it, all of it. Okay. All right, and I have kind of a template here of what I'm gonna show you how to do. So how to start a successful blog in 2017. All right, so I could use this if I wanted to. I'm not going to today, um, but here's a tip. So these come together, you can make this bigger, you can make it, maybe I'll just show you how to do this here. How to start, a, and then this is where you're gonna change that font. I'm gonna keep it branded again. Successful blog in 2017. Sometimes these little, how it's all grouped together, that kind of bugs me sometimes. You can just hit ungroup here and that gets rid of it. Okay, come on. All right, I'm gonna change that to Sun Valley and make it bigger. And this one I'm gonna change again to my Fijala one. I don't know how to say that. Um, so I'm gonna make this bigger again. Let's try 42. And again, I'm annoyed that it's all grouped together, so I'm gonna ungroup. All right, so now they're all separate. And another tip here is if the font is spaced out too much for you, I'm gonna put the letters closer together. And if you have multiple lines of font and the line is too much for you, you can change it here. How to start a successful blog. Let's make that a little bigger too in 2017. Okay, so I'm gonna move this up, up, up. All right. So tip one, number one was to keep it vertical. Tip number two is to have text on it. Tip number three is to keep the text simple. So you wanna make sure the text is something easy to read. Don't use some crazy complicated font that nobody can read. And tip number four is to reference a freebie on that image. So you can see here, I say free access to my online vault of resources for entrepreneurs. I'm just gonna copy that. Keep it simple. Keep it simple. All right, add a little bit of text. And let's make it smaller here. And let's make it white. 
boom here under uploads this is where you can upload your own images and so i have these right here i'm going to add these how to create pinterest images that convert branding worksheet all this is my online vault at rachelandgome.com forward slash vault make these look the same ish and you can see the lines are going to tell you like, okay, it's centered. It looks good. It's centered. I love that. Okay. Next thing, scroll up and logos. So you can upload your own logos here too. Isn't that cool? So if you don't have any logos uploaded yet, just click upload your own images and it'll help you there. So let's just put a logo on it. I'm going to do a white one. Never mind. I'm gonna do my white one. And it's gonna center it for me. Thank you, Canva. Boom, okay, that's it. And a professional tip for you here. Instead of having to do this over and over and over again, you can hit right here to copy. And so you can do the exact same thing and change the title here change this or whatever. Um, so another tip, if you go to all your designs, right click here to make a copy and then boom, that's pretty much it. And so it saves all of your designs in here. If you have a template that you love, all you got to do is click here to make a copy of it. Um, save it and that's it. I hope that you found this super duper helpful. Um, if you want to have access to that online vault of resources, make sure to go to rachelandgome.com forward slash vault. If you liked this video, make sure you like and subscribe and share it with another entrepreneur who's building a business using Pinterest the smart way. All right. I'll talk to you next time. Bye. How to use Canva to create Pinterest images that 